Great boss quality. Rugged and strong. Sounds from 80s hair arc to death thrash metal. Didn't like even though I'm a prime customer the item took 2 full days just to be dispatched, and 6 full days to get it. Don't dare to be amazed by turning up all dials. You will need to meticulously couture the shape of the distortion by turning the dials to find that sweet sound that you desire. There are a lot of haters that will say it's too fizzy and just a pedal for high school guitarists with crappy amps. If you dime it out, yes it sounds like hell. The X section is actually really great separate low, high and mid frequency and level controls gives you more control than 95% of pedals in this price range. If you dial back the gain you can get everything from a warm hard clip overdrive to crushing chug or scooped squealy dinner bag stuff. The other thing I found is that if you use this as a preamp, that is directly to the power section of your amp through the FX loop return, it sounds way better. Something about an extra gain stage after this pedal just thins out the sound and accentuates the fizziness. The Metal Zone is one of the best distortion pedals of all time. You can dial in a ton of tones. The mid control is the key to this little beast. The frequency knob is where the B sound purists hate comes from. Many a band used the Metal Zone silently for years, knowing how awesome it was. Also knowing the guitar community would hate them for learning its secrets. This replaced the Behringer M300 that I had. While the Behringer was okay, the distortion level always seemed either too high or too low. Almost no middle ground. This boss pedal seems to have better adjustability on the distortion level. Sound is also better cleaner on this boss pedal making it more compatible with my reverb and delay pedals. The Behringer would work for leads, but not a whole lot else. This boss pedal is way more versatile and sounds better doing it.